Hello and everyone, uh, hello and welcome to our webinar today, everyone. My name is Boris Polyakov. For those of you who have uh, not seen me, I'm the regional sales manager in Adena. And the topic of our today is going to be the DS4CU speaker tracking station and its integration with the Televic Confidea systems. So uh, you will be able to see not just the integration that our system has with this uh, brand, uh, but also how easy it is to configure it, uh, what are the different ways in which you can use it. And of course, for those of you who join us for the first time, I am also going to shortly introduce our company and uh, what uh, our brand is doing. So let's uh, uh, get started with this. Um, our company, Adena Limited, is the representative of the brand called Eric worldwide. We are present in more than 80 countries. Uh, our team is multilingual and multicultural. What does that mean is that we are able to provide you support in every pretty much different language uh, and we are able to do that at different times of the day and whether that is a sales or technical support you're, you can always rely on our team and so uh, also as part of that we are doing this webinar in different languages today uh, the next session will be in spanish so make sure to tune in if that is your preferred language my colleague jose will be the one doing it now as for the brand itself, ARIC, ARIC's main system is called the Media Capture System, and that is basically a combination of different products. Uh, the foundation of this system is called Media Station. Media Station is a kind of all-in-one device. It is an encoder, it is a decoder, it is a video switcher, a mixer, and many more. And then this is the kind of device to which you connect everything else in the room. Whether that is a PTZ camera, a network camera, or EPTZ, you know, the kind of auto-framing camera, whether, whether that is a computer or a document camera, Media Station will accept it, record it, stream it, and automatically back it up. You can also combine that with the different audio systems, including Televic discussion systems. So to that system, we also propose a line of other products that you can use together with, but keep in mind, every single product here is self-sufficient and also third-party friendly. So if you have your own preferred brand of cameras, you can also use that. But we offer PTZ and EPTZ cameras. We offer uh, as well auto tracking systems based on infrared technology, based on AI technology, and as well the subject of this webinar today, the microphone discussion based kind of tracking. And that is also accompanied by a line of accessories that make it possible to use ARIC systems in other environments with other sort of purposes so moving on um, and well before that if you are not familiar with any of our products and if you would like to know more about any of them in detail please request a demonstration at our website www.a-dana.com there is a button called request demonstration so each one of the products that i've just named like media stations they've been covered before in previous webinars and if you would like to see them then please request the demonstration but then again Moving on to the subject of our webinar today, that is the DS4CU speaker tracking station. So first, let's introduce what is that station. Well, suppose you have a discussion system, like, for example, Televic Confidea, and you would like to automatically show who is active on their microphone. So for that, whenever anybody is pressing on their microphone button, push to talk, then you are able to automatically switch to the right video source or a combination of video sources and display that person display their title, display their name, change the image accordingly. All of that is custom. And this can be done with third-party cameras, this can be done with multiple cameras at the same time, and it can be done in different ways according to your needs for every different speaker. So if you, for example, want for speaker John to be just one camera, it doesn't have to be the same for speaker Paul or any other speaker. So you could combine the view of the cameras, you can combine that as well with the computer content uh, like, let's say, your slides, or a document camera, or any other video source. You can just put them together in different layouts of your own creation. That is also working with different brands. Brands like Audio-Technica, brands like Bosch, uh, Sennheiser, Shure, and Televic. And specifically with uh, Televic, we have this uh, available with different models from Televic, such as Televic Plexus, Televic Discerno, and Televic Confidea, so the system that we are using today. Um, if you'd like to know more about any of these integrations and other systems that are integrated with the DS4CU, you can also find that information on our website in the technical partners section. Now, 
Moving on to the uh, more details about the ds 4 cu So ds 4 cu is a kind of uh, station, but it is a little bit different from typical ERIC media stations. It is different in a way that it is designed specifically to mix, to switch, and to control your video sources. So it is not a recording and streaming device on its own, but it can be combined with them. Combined with them in order to expand the amount of video channels that they do, because the ds 4 cu for example, is able to take four full HD video sources at the same time. And these video sources, they can come from different kinds of formats. They can be um, in, uh, in interfaces, I, I mean. These can be HDMI, this can be VGA, this can be network. And network, uh, for example, RTSP, RTP, RTMP, or UNVIF Profile S. All of these can be done at the same time, also as inputs and also as outputs. So you're able to bring the, uh, the ds 4 cus video into your conferencing, into a recording and streaming device like an ARIC media station, or into a remote room just by bringing its RTSP view. What's more is that for every speaker, you're able to customize a unique combination of overlays and backgrounds. So in that sense, you can upload 99 unique images, which could be, for example, the names and the titles of people and use those as overlays. You can do the same 99 uh, different unique uh, backgrounds, so these will be at the back of your video. So, for example, the um, logo of your organization or maybe the corporate colors or the university's colors. It doesn't restrict to just the corporate use. So, all of these can be uploaded to the system and then used in pairs together with layouts for each one of your speakers. And then, finally, what is also very important about the DS4CU is that this system does not require you to purchase any licenses. It is already integrated with the systems, meaning that you do not need to do any programming. The whole setup, and we're going to show that to you today as well, is just about putting the uh, microphone, uh, putting the IP address of your microphone discussion system, and then customizing what you would like to use as presets for the speakers and for when nobody's speaking or when multiple people are speaking. Because that system uh, is simple to configure, and that's exactly what we want to show you today. Now, what exactly can you put the ds 4 cu together with? There are different combinations. The typical one would be to put it together with a media station. Because the ds 4 cu doesn't record or stream, it needs another device to do that. And so the ARIC media station is the perfect choice for that. By bringing the four video sources to any ARIC media station, you can expand the amount of video sources that you're able to record into stream then you're able to combine that with the auto tracking based on infrared, based on AI. You're able to custom uh, to connect also the standard PTZ cameras. And again, I just want to repeat that the third party cameras, uh, other brands, they're also supported. So if there is a favorite brand of yours, you can use it together with the ds 4 cu The only thing you need to look out for is whether that supports, uh, that camera supports any of the standard PTZ protocols like Belco D, Belco P, Visca, Visca over IP, or UNVIF Profile S. Another kind of combination that you can do with the ds 4 cu would be by bringing it together with a simple converter from HDMI to USB. We have a line of converters called Rada Bridge that can do exactly that. They will deliver the image from the ds 4 cu lossless into USB. So they will turn your station into a webcam. So imagine you have your typical conferencing room and you have um, multiple PTZ cameras connected. You would normally need to switch between them, but with a ds 4 cu you can automate that, either with a discussion system or by just bringing a simple computer mouse or a touch interface and connecting it together with a ds 4 cu and then combine them in any different layout you want and achieve that multiple view camera easily in your conferencing system. Other ideas include, for example, bringing a KSCC1, a closed caption station. Since the s 4 cu doesn't record a stream, it's perfect combination for the KSCC1. This is a one-channel recorder and streamer with the ability to caption and translate your speakers. The s 4 cu is designed to show your speakers, so the two are a natural match. And then when you put them together, you're able to record and stream four different video sources all at the same time in your mixed video, combined with either the translation of the person or what they are saying, their captions. And then your local audience, or even remote audience, they will be able to tune in and see the text that they want to see in their preferred language. Now, ds 4 cu 
is the kind of product that can work in three different ways. Uh, multiple speaker is the default way in which it can work. And multiple speaker just uh, means that you will have a certain layout that you create yourself, a certain preset, that will be applied whenever two or more speakers are active on your discussion system. So that could be, for example, you have the speaker one, and speaker one is just using a single camera to show themselves. And then you have the speaker three. When speaker one and speaker three are active at the same time, you can make an example layout where you can see every single speaker in the room. Then if another combination of speakers uh, uh, are active, like six and seven, you will display the same layout. So multiple speaker is just about creating one custom layout for a group of speakers at the same time. The other modes include FIFO, which stands for first in, first out. So this mode will ensure that you will always track the first uh, person active uh, on, their, um, on the microphone. So if you have a list of people who have activated the microphone in turn, it will always display the first one. So in this example, ID1, the microphone one, is the first one to turn on the microphone, then followed by three and six. As long as one is still active, you will see microphone ID number one. If ID number one turns off their microphone, then you will then, uh, you will then see number three, as long as they're still active, and so on and so forth just following the queue of active microphones. Lastly, override is the exact opposite of this mode. So with override, you will be able to see the, um, the last person who is active on their microphone. So it could be speaker one, overridden by speaker three, overridden by speaker six. So if six was the last one to activate the microphone, you will see the preset for speaker six. And then if seven activates the microphone, if maybe one turns off, you will speak, you will still, you will still see the last speaker active on their microphone, which will be speaker seven. So that's the general overview of what the system can do. Let's take a look at how easy it is to configure because that is a very, very important point. So for this, I'm going to switch to just showing my computer content and then I'm going to jump into the browser. So here, I have the web page of my DS4C open and uh, uh, I am now just going to make sure that you can see it. Okay, so there we go. Logging into the uh, station, uh, you will see a typical ERIC media station interface. If you have never seen it before, then this is how it looks like. And so it's quite easy to configure your video sources. You will end up on the page called Video Inputs. And here you can see that each one of them has a name. So you can customize the name in order to easily identify them. You can use up to four video sources at the same time. So that's what you see in this list. One, two, three, and then there is this content. And then you can choose the signal type which can be either something like a video port, which is HDMI or VGA. This can be network camera, which is uh, either an ARIC camera or UNVIF profile as compatible camera, or it can be an encoder, which in this case is a network stream. Network stream coming, for example, from RTSP, RTP, or RTMP. Now, if you are connecting an ARIC camera or a third-party camera, which has the UNVIF profile as support, you will need to go first to this page called Network Device Manager. You will see all of your available cameras in this list. You can scan for them and then use them after you log in to those cameras. Then, simple as that, when you press on the uh, orange button next to any of your video sources, you will be able to see their preview. So right now, you can see the preview of my camera. That shows me. And then, using this interface, you are also able to control the PTZ of this camera. You are able to uh, call different presets uh, from here. You can also customize the presets from here. Uh, presets from here. If you want to connect uh, or rather set up more than eight presets, you can do so first in this camera web interface and then either reconnect the camera or just do it beforehand because the DS4C will need to pick up those presets. So simple as that, you can connect, configure your video sources. Then you can also go to this page called Display and customize your experience with what you are going to output from the DS4CU. DS4CU can output either just the pure video that you have configured or video with the GUI. So this you can use in order to manually control the DS4CU. And I'm going to show you how this works later. Right now we are doing exactly that, so you will see how this works shortly. 
If then we go to speaker tracking control settings, this is the menu that is different on the ds 4 cu You will see first the microphone system selection. I have Telvik Confide FLEX right now, so that's exactly what I selected. You can see that there are other systems supported. If you need to see any other system uh, from the supported list, this is available on our website at adana.com. Then, IP address is exactly the IP address of your microphone system. So simply type in the IP address of your microphone discussion system here and uh, you will have it working. Next is the recorder IP address. This is a special configuration that is available when you're using ERIC media stations together with the DS4CU. This allows you to automatically switch the recording and the streaming theme of your um, media station according to the active microphone preset or uh, if even no presets are active because you can also do this for when nobody's talking. So if you uh, add your IP address of the media station and you can have this scenario where for example um, nobody is active on their microphone and you just want to show the combined view of all the cameras together with computer content for example. So you could call this theme one on your media station and then when somebody activates their microphone maybe you want to switch to another kind of theme where maybe you will only see the camera of the speaker or maybe you will see it take more space and maybe less the content or the vice versa. This setting would allow you to do so just by selecting theme 1 and theme 2 on your media station, typing the media station's IP address here and then for every single preset just tell it whether you want it to switch the theme or not. So you can automate your production. You don't have to manually control the media stations this way. Then General default is what the media, uh, what the DS4CU will show when nobody is active on their microphone. So you could see over here, if you press on the paper and uh, uh, pen icon, you can customize the presets for the cameras. I have everything set to zero, so I want the cameras to go to the home position. Then overlay, layout, uh, and background also have numbers. What do these numbers stand for? Well, we can take a look at it from another page. So let's just uh, log into the DS4CU. Uh, another time but from a different page and go to this one called theme so here you can see that every single uh, image kind let's say overlay image background image or layout the, the way you display your video sources they have numbers and so these are exact the same numbers that you can put over here so we have for example overlay 0 that means not to use overlay we have the layout 34 so if we jump back here, at the very end, layout 34 is displaying all four cameras. So simple as that. If you would like to add more backgrounds and overlays, you can always do so just by pressing on the green icon over here to upload a PNG image. Then if you want to customize your layouts, if for example, there is not one that you would like, then you can do so using free Eric software uh, called Layout Editor, which you can download on our website. Moving back to the DS4CU, you are able to customize the different uh, speaker modes over here by selecting either multiple speaker, override, or FIFO, which we've previously already uh, covered. Then uh, here you also have the presets for the multiple speakers. Uh, and that's the one that we are going to show when two microphones are active. So you can see for the cameras, I told one of them to move to preset 3 in this point uh, when two microphones or more are active. I told the other one to move to preset 2. And then I want to select overlay 1, layout 9, background 5. So all of this you can customize just by typing the numbers using this page called theme. So there are other th settings available here, including group multiple speaker. That is only used with particular microphone discussion systems, like, for example, the Shure MXA. And we're not covering that today. So we're moving on to camera control. This is where you are going to uh, set up your different uh, microphone IDs. And if you would like to add a new microphone, you simply need to press on this green icon here called Add. So for the group, uh, unless you're using uh, Shure MXA, you can type Group 0. Then ID is determined by your microphone system. In case of Televic Confidea, for example, IDs are written as four digits. So if you wanted to write a ID number one, so you first write 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's the first microphone then you are customizing what you want to have as your presets for the cameras. So if you want on the activation of microphone one for the camera, number one to go to, let's say, preset four, that's exactly what you do. And so on and so forth 
for every single of these presets and then also combinations of overlays, layouts, backgrounds. So it's quite simple to customize that. As you can see, I've already done that for the IDE number one, two, three, four, and five. And so that's what we are seeing over here. So if I press on the paper, see uh, when ID number one is active, camera moves to three, the others are minus one, means that they don't move. So with that said, that's basically all you need to do in terms of the settings on the ds 4 cu just set up those different combinations. Other things that you may find interesting here is the possibility for you to automate uh, how the device turns on and off. So you can automate that according to a schedule uh, or according to receiving the power. You can also uh, update firmware at any point of time. All the updates are for free and available on our website. You can also create closed network on the ds 4 cu and restrict access uh, to your uh, video cameras if you connect them directly to the ds 4 cu And lastly, you can also upload and save different combinations for different layouts of your room, for different layouts of your speakers. So that's all about the configuration. Uh, configuration. Now let's jump back to our uh, presentation and let's see how exactly this translates to the real life. How exactly do we work with Televic Confidea? For this, I am now going to switch the view to camera number one. And that's the view from my ds 4 cu You can see right now you, uh, there are four different images. You can see my colleague, Jose. He's waving at a the camera. Then you can see the display. You can see also the Televic itself with the ds 4 cu uh, below it. Now, I have a microphone right here. So it's a wireless microphone. I can pick it up and put it back into its place. And as I press on the microphone button, the view immediately changes. So now you can see the camera just showing me the, my name. And that is what we set up for the microphone ID number one. If I release this microphone, the view changes back to the general default where we set up to show all the video sources. If I do that again, uh, so now we see me and I ask my colleague to turn on the microphone, then we will activate multiple speaker mode. So the camera now shows my colleague and uh, we are both um, active. We are both visible on the video. So simple as that. If I release my microphone right now, you will see just the preset for my colleague. So now we can see her name is Anastasia. And now if my colleague releases the microphone, we will go back to the general default. So simple as that you are able to customize this uh, according to any, uh, any amount of microphones you have, automatically switching, uh, selecting the right preset, the one that you configured for those microphones. And that's not the only way that you can use the ds 4 cu So in case you would like to manually control the switching, you're also able to use the graphical user interface. So like I said before, I have this view with a GUI uh, available. So now that I am pressing on this button, I am able to manually trigger the preset for this microphone. I am able to do that for also the second microphone, for the microphone of my colleague. And I am also able to do so for the uh, other microphones which are not even connected right now, like for example, microphone three. So you see there is the ds 4 cu and Televic on top. That's all you need for this. So simple as that, you are able to um, customize your experience and uh, use the system together with discussion systems or without them. Now, let's go back to the sites. We have other cases in which you can use the ds 4 cu that we want to show to you today, including this example from Belgium, from Council Communal, uh, and they are using the system to automate their production, saving on the budget because they do not need to hire a crew in order to do the live stream, in order to do the automatic switching. So uh, whenever a speaker changes, their name, their title is immediately displayed, the camera is changed, and so all of this is automatic, combined with the recording and streaming directly to Facebook, uh, saves the organization a lot of time, saves the council the money that they would otherwise uh, spend on the live crew. This example from Taiwan is from a university which is quite close to our office, and they are using the combined system from ARIC, the media station, the ds 4 cu the tracking cameras, and we use this chance to record this promotional video about the ds 4 cu and what it can do. Uh, so uh, display the custom uh, speaker layout, uh, display the different kinds of video sources together. The way the university is using this, they are combining the views of the slides together with the active students. So that's what we are also showing here. Then the next case is from Latvia, 
from Segula's gymna gymnasium, and they are using our systems together with the um, media stations. So they are using DS4CU, media stations, and also Bosch discussion system in order to uh, record and to stream the school curriculum discussions, the meetings that they have, and to enhance their conferencing. So there is one camera in front, which is showing the active speakers on the microphones. And then there is also one camera that shows every single attendee uh, at the same time. So the combined view of those two cameras is sent into the media station, records, uh, is recorded and streamed according to their needs. But there are also other cases. There are many of them, and we don't uh, have all the, all the time in the world to cover them for you. But at the same time, uh, there is also the idea that you can use the DS4CU in other markets, in education, in corporate and governmental sector, in healthcare, as you can see represented by these several cases on the, on the slide right now. One of the uh, cases I want to highlight here is from the UK, using our system together with Telavik. So again, there are different microphone systems integrated. There is a lot of things that you can do together with this two products. And um, if you would like to know more about any other particular ERIC product, or uh, if you would like to know more about all of these cases, or uh, you have a project idea, feel free to contact us at www.a-dana.com, and we'll be more than happy to arrange a more uh, in-depth demonstration or discussion with you. So thank you very much for joining us for this webinar today. Um, and if you have any questions, is the perfect time to ask them in the YouTube chat right now. My colleagues and I will be uh, there shortly to answer them for you. So thank you very much again and have a good day.